Come on up, Adrian. Do you guys want this in Spanish or in English? <laughs> Like Brenda said, I, uh, I was born in San Diego, grew up uh, my first 10, 11 years of my life in Tijuana, and then came back to the States when my oldest brother was uh, close to go to college. My best plan his whole life was for us to go to college in the U.S., and so that's why we were all born in the U.S. Um, grew up in an amazing family, good parents, uh, grew up going to the church, uh, but didn't get to get it. So, uh, you know, if we didn't have a game that Sunday, we were at church. It was, it was a great, great family, my parents, uh, you know, they, uh, they, they, they knew the Lord, and uh, it wasn't something that uh, was our first priority, uh, but we definitely uh, would go to church and, and, and live by faith, and uh, growing up, it was, it was an amazing family, so just fall all the way, like I said, and, uh, you know, just uh, growing up in San Diego area after we came to the U.S., uh, going to school there, and, and baseball was my first priority. Uh, wanted to do good in school because I really did want to go to college and baseball is always the one to Met my amazing wife Betsy in, uh, in high school. She's my uh, high school sweetheart and uh, you know just uh, been blessed to be with her our whole lives and uh, you know really grow grow grew into the Lord uh, as, as as boyfriend and girlfriend and, um, but I gave my life to the Lord once once we got married and uh, we decided to, to to really put a, put, a, put a foundation for our marriage in Christ. And that's when I really um, started really digging into, into the Lord and really wanted to understand what, what, what it was like to live for Christ. And uh, it was one day at a time, uh, and it, it's something that, that really uh, has, has grown into, in, into my faith. Uh, you know, we've been married for uh, going on 12 years now. Uh, it's an amazing marriage. We have uh, two beautiful daughters, uh, Alessandra Mia and Raina Bell. And uh, just uh, you know, our life has has, uh, has been amazing. Thanks, thanks to God, uh, we we've, we've gone through a lot of ups and downs. At least not, I should say, no, we, I have gone through a lot of ups and downs in baseball. I was drafted first overall by the Marlins in, in, in the year 2000. Uh, two years into into my minor league career, I had a surgery on my wrist, and next year I had a, I had a pretty bad year. Um, got traded, got traded to the Rangers. Um, and with the Rangers, uh, uh, you know, got to the big leagues and got sent down. And I called up and got sent down and that for two years. And then I got traded to the Padres and that's when I was able to, to establish uh, being able to play in the Bengals every day. Um, through it all, uh, you know, it was, it was God that, that kind of kept, kept me in and, and just staying stay focused uh, one day at a time, stay, stay, staying stay, stay the path and keeping, keeping course. As, uh, you know, we, we can really get get uh, diverted if, if we don't stay stay uh, stay with God the whole time. So, what I really wanted to talk to you guys about today was part of that was is is the routine of the everyday life in the baseball field and in the godly field, um, and also you know the cliche that we we'll hear a lot of time when we're asked, "Hey, how big is this series coming up?" And we're like, "Well, you know, it's, it's just one day at a time." And it really is one day at a time. We really do just focus on time. You know, our game was over, is over already for today, so we're focused on Tuesday. Um, we're not focused on the series we have against the same team a week from now. We're not focused on anything like that. Um, we all show up, focus on that one game. And uh, for us, you know, um, that, that one day at a time team is really important because you don't look ahead and look behind. And I think that it, our walk with Christ should be very similar to that. In the sense that you just focused on today. Okay. Up. Sorry. When you wake up, you have a routine, and it's part of the same thing. You know, I, when I show up to the clubhouse, I see AJ in, in, in the video room, Hershaw's in the weight room, or in the video room, it's like he, it's in the cage. We all we all have our that we have, and that's what gets us ready for the game. And we believe in those routines, and we trust those routines. That no matter how good it goes or how bad it goes. We can trust in the fact that if we stay true to our routine, we're going to get through a season and we're going to be the best we can be that year. And in our Christian life, I believe that if we have a routine, and this is something that me and my wife have been talking a lot about with our two daughters, and they're getting into that age of listening and understanding us, is getting into the routine of you know, waking up, talking about Christ, living for Christ, letting them know that our love for our sins 
what we want to be is Christ. And we'll never be Christ, but I can try to be like Christ today. And if we have a routine of waking up, thinking about Christ, saying, God, I want to live for you. What do you want me to do with like, my life today? And if we can follow that every single day, and then, you know, before we have a breakfast, God. And even if it's just in, in your mind, you, know, you thank God for the meal. And then you go, you go on with your day, and you try to be a blessing to somebody that day. You try to be available for somebody. You try to be a servant for them that day. Um, when, you get, when you get back home, you know, before you go to bed, prayer, you know, what can you eat for? Um, if you have them on an everyday basis, your life for Christ will get better and better every day. You know, we're, we're, every day you have a chance to get closer to God or get farther away from God. You're never going to stay the same. So every day, if you live out that routine, you will get closer to God. One of the things that we've been talking about in Bible studies is the men of God that, that are in the Bible that have these great accomplishments um, that we get to get, get to use as, as guidance for us. And one of the things that Brandon really, really pushes on this is that these men were, were men that really lived in one day. And the, and the little things will amount to big things. So we don't have to do big things and, and, and do all these things and say, look what I did. If you do the little things on an everyday basis, it will amount to things and you will be able to influence a lot of people on the way. So, um, you know, I just really want to encourage you guys to, to really have that one day at a time and that routine so you can, uh, you know, throughout your life be able to live out that and uh, get closer to God every day. After today, I think second in the league in RBIC National League. What is it that contributes most to the consistency in your mind? How are you able to repeat that year after year after year? Um, I think simplifying. I mean, I think one of the things that uh, the former really helps kind of come down to people's scoring position is just to simplify. Um, I'm a really slow runner. Uh, me and AJ will have a pretty good foot rate. Uh, but uh, so when there's nobody on base, I'm always trying to hit a double or hit a home run, or you know, because if I get to first base, it really takes like three hits to score. Me. So, you know, so I feel like I'm actually like clogging up the bases. Uh, it gets a hit, now he can't steal because I'm not going to So uh, when there's nobody on base, really just trying to hit the ball as hard as I can. But when there's people on base, it's like, hey, a little single here, a little single here, ground ball, this, fly ball here, and all that is going to help that get scored in the ground. So it can really, it really help us simplify it. Just try to get a base in the middle. And that's it. It's like, that's your base. It's going to help me something to score. So um, I think that really has to help me along the way. So, uh, you know, and one of the things that, uh, that I get asked about, too, is on my mats. Instead of being a bad ball, I'm a bad ball person, which is so sweet. So, Afraid. And I really use that to big situations. I look at that and I'm like, hey, I got nothing to fear, nothing to be afraid. Jesus already died on the cross for us. You know, just have fun. And whatever happens, happens. You already go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know that's your approach, uh, but I also, you kind of made the correlation in your testimony that's kind of how you do the Christian life, too. So just kind of go back to the basics, simplify what this is all about. How has that helped? I think a lot of people see the success on big league level, but as you alluded to, it wasn't as straight as saying that you really had some ups and some downs from the number one pick to kind of discard it in the organization. What helped you to maintain the consistency through those ups and downs? Um, I mean, really, I mean, you know, my wife and, 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 and Christ, um, you know, you have all these, I remember, I was telling you, I remember being one day that I, I thought I was going to get uh, able to with the Rangers at the time, there was some trade speculation. I wasn't playing with the Rangers, and I got instead of getting traded, I got promoted because they traded for somebody that was my position. But I remember being outside the clubhouse and I'm talking to an agent and just saying, you know what, I'm ready to quit. I don't want to do this anymore. And I had guys come up to me and be like, hey, just remember, you guys got to stay consistent. And that's when I opened my mind. I was like, yeah, just stay consistent. Stay, stay with, stay with Christ. He's got a plan for you. Uh, and you didn't have to really. Try to do this yourself, but this is not about you. So, if you want to be triple A, that's, that's where I gotta be. You know, maybe there's something down there that, that I can influence. And so, um, one of the one of the great things about um, everything that's gone in my career is that um, I can relate.
relate to a lot of ball players that are in the big leagues. I mean, I can, I can say, hey, I went through this. You know, I was, I was a bench player for two years, basically. You know, so I can relate with the guys coming up the bench. And I, and I can be an example for them, and I can talk to them about those situations. That's awesome. Adrian Gonzalez.